think it's not about the age. It's really about being flexible and trying to recognize uh, the state and the condition of the senior citizens. A, a citizen is still productive. Bakit mo pipigilan? But then again, we have to realize that there is a law. Of 90 years old who can still walk. Sa kabangkalan, may nag-aararo pa na 102 years old. You know, emphasize it on income generation where the seniors are skilled. skilled. My wisdom, my experiences, I think our economy will be happier with allowing the seniors to work. Okay, sir, uh, meron pong mga lumulutang na paano kala ito, mga nakalipas ng taon. Kasi ngayon, 60 years old ang senior citizens, di ba? Uh, yeah. May nag uh, paano kala na medyo iba ba? Tama ba yun? Ako naman, uh, let's, let's start with the positive. Only in the Philippines, may 20% discount. Go to the other countries. Wala pong 20% discount. Walang senior citizen lane. And even the foreigners here enjoy the senior citizen lane kasi hindi mo na mo pagkaila, senior na rin sila. So, they're enjoying uh, all this. Uh, uh, and so, so to me, uh, it's really cultural. Kasi, in some areas, nag ang being senior at 55. It's not about uh, pumuputi ang buhok mo uh, at i-consider kang senior. It's really cultural. In China, a senior citizen is 65. Uh, so, if, if you talk about uh, culture, sometimes 60, 65, others 70. Uh, and so I, I think it's not about the age. It's really about being flexible and trying to recognize uh, the state and the condition of the senior citizens. Okay, good morning po. Juvie de Guzman, DWBL, and uh, Margo TV Philippines. Yeah. Uh, Chairman, una-una, maganda tong grupo na to eh ngayon. Natutuwa po ako at nagkaroon nito kasi magkakaroon ako ng future kung sakasakali. You uh, are an aspiring senior. <laughs> well, uh, hindi, ang akin lang, kasi sa abroad po, galing po rin ako doon uh, for 35 years. Nakita ko 90 years old, nag-work pa as long as they want. No? That's correct. The point there, kaya nila eh. Yeah. Bakit sila magiging pagbigat sa gobyerno? Dito sa Pilipinas, pinipigil na Manila yung ating uh, mga elders na gustong magtrabaho since nakaya pa naman. So sana po, maging bahagi kayo ng pakikiusap dyan sa ating mga mambabatas na bigyan nila ng halaga na may mga senior na gusto. Hindi naman natin yeah. ipo-force yung mga ayaw. If they want to travel anywhere, it's okay. Pero sa akin lang, as a future senior citizen, eh sa akin eh, mas maganda, abutan ko yung uh, panukala po na magagaling po sa inyo. Siyempre, sa tulong din po ninyo at awa ng Panginoon, eh maging bahagi po sana ang, ang grupo nyo na ano, maging bahagi for that, no? Opo. At uh, ang akin lang din po, uh, yung, yung benefit actually, napakarami na eh. Thankful din ako sa dating uh, congressman ng senior citizen na nagbigay ng 20% and that's good enough. Pero ang isa lang kong malungkot sa problema ko ng mga senior citizen, yung, uh, yung let's say, parking. Kasi uh, parking, mostly, may-ari ng sasakyan ni senior citizen. But in other place na kung saan hindi sila nakatira, hindi po sila nabibigyan ng ganong benefit. So, may magagawa po ba kayo? 
Well, we keep on advocating. Hindi mo may hindi mo pa sinabi yung sinasabi mo. Tanggap ko na eh. <laughs> so, 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 so we really we really need to create fora like this. And yes. I'm happy the Director General is uh, behind us. Sana magkakaroon pa. Because I really agree with you. When a, a citizen is still productive, uh -huh. bakit mo pipigilan? Uh, but then again, we have to realize that there is a law. Parang kinalabuso tayo ng law. Eh. Yes. Uh, uh, but that law is not because of this present legislators. Okay. It's a product of long time ago where the length of life is what? Noon, 60 plus pa eh. Eh ngayon, 78 na yung average lifespan. And you have 90 years old who can still walk. Sa kabangkalan, may nag-aararo pa na 102 years old. So, let's optimize. Yun. <laughs> Agree. Sa labing dalawang milyong uh, senior citizens ngayon, may apat na milyon lamang po ang nakakatanggap. Kumakit nasa 9.22 milyon ang bilang ng mga Pilipino na senior citizens o nasa edad 60 pataas noong 2020, base po yan sa Philippine Statistics Authority data. Pero ilan sa mga ito ang hindi pa rin nakakapagparehistro sa National Commission of Senior Citizens. Ibig sabihin, may mga ilan sa kanila hindi pa rin e-enjoy yung kanilang mga beneficiaries.